Welcome back to Mr. Rules class, where we make every day a good day. We're going to talk about page two of your vocabulary workbook, uh, geography vocabulary workbook. So we, we've talked about page one, and next we're going to discuss page two. And on page two, we can see we have quite a few uh, words here. So we're going to go through each one and make sure we understand uh, the word and the definition. So we ended on uh, the word continent last time, and so next is the word ocean. An ocean is a very large expanse of sea. Each of the main areas in which the sea has been divided, Arctic, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and southern. So we've got a map here with the seven continents and five oceans. Remember, you can pause this video if needed in order for you to take the time to write down that definition. Our next definition is hemisphere, half of a sphere. The earth is divided into four hemispheres. The Northern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, and Eastern Hemispheres. Our next word is relative location. The location described by where it is compared to other locations. Relative to other locations means we would say uh, Ray's supermarket is just down the street from Moncure School. That's relative location. When you describe a place where it is compared to other locations. So you can think about this question. What is the relative location of your house? My house is one mile south of Triangle Brick. Exact location. Exact location is the actual coordinates of a location. It can be longitude and latitude. It can be the actual address of that location. Here we can see the actual coordinates for Moncure School. 35 degrees 37 minutes north and 79 degrees and 4 minutes west. Those are the exact locations coordinates for Moncure School. An island. An island is an area of land surrounded by water on all sides. A peninsula. Peninsula is an area of land surrounded by water on three sides. You can think of Florida on the map when you're thinking of a peninsula. A river. A river is a stream of water flowing from high to low elevation. It empties into a lake, ocean, gulf, or other body of water. A stream of flowing water. A lake. A lake is an area of water that is surrounded by land on all sides. A mountain. A mountain is a land mass with a high elevation that is often jagged and rocky or covered in trees or snow. A mountain. A valley. A valley is a low area of land between hills or mountains. A plateau. A plateau is a flat area of land with a high elevation compared to the land surrounding it. A plateau. You can see the word plate in there. So a plateau is like a table. And you can think of it as what you put your plate on. Plateau. A bay. 
A bay is an area of water surrounded by land, usually on three sides. It is usually smaller than a gulf. And that is page two of our vocabulary workbook. Please write the entire definitions and draw a picture based on each of your definitions.